Hi everybody, it's Heather from Nightly Reading. Um, this is my very first video post for an in my mailbox or book haul if you want to call it. Um, I have never done one before but I actually have been watching them a lot recently and I thought they looked like a lot of fun. They were interesting to watch. I loved seeing, you know, what everybody looked like, um, listening to people talk. You get to know them a little bit better from a video than you do from just them typing out their post on their blog. So I have five books that I wanted to talk to you about today and let's get started. Let's see. Um, the first book that I wanted to talk to you about is called Later Gator by Lauren Miracle. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but this book had been on my wish list for a very long time. I never got it. Went out to the dollar store, literally the dollar tree where everything is a buck, and found it sitting there on the shelf, so I got it for a dollar. Um, basically, it is about three best friends and they just instant message back and forth the whole entire book is instant messaging back and forth with each other um, through high school and they talk about their classes their teachers boys um, their parents it that's what the whole entire book is so that's that one Um, the second book that I wanted to talk to you about again is another book by Laura Miracle. Um, I got it at the dollar store for a buck and it is called Rhymes with Witches. I have actually never heard of this book before but I read the back of it and it really really intrigued me. Um, it basically is about this girl named Jane and she is in high school and she's invisible. Nobody notices her. Um, they're saying nobody notices her, not the jocks, not the cheerleader. She doesn't fit into any crowd. Um, there is a group called the Bitches. They're like the royalty of the school, and there is one girl chosen from each grade, freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, to join the Bitches. And so they're looking at Jane to join the Bitches and... Basically, I don't know. It just sounded interesting. I just thought it sounded funny, so I thought I'd pick it up. It was a dollar. Um, the next book I want to talk to you about, which I have been waiting forever, and you'll see it's actually ironic that the book is called Forever by Judy Bloom. Um, it took me a while to find this book. I found it on Amazon. I actually won this book in a challenge. Um... I got it from Angeline Case. I am one of Angeline Case's street team members. Angeline's awesome. And she just came out with her new book, Enemy Within, which is excellent, by the way. So you should really read it. Um, she took like the top three or the top five people, the first ones to read her new book and post their review. Got to choose a book up to $10 from Amazon or the Book Depot. So I was the very last one to win one of the challenge prizes, and I chose Forever by Judy Bloom. So thank you very much, Angeline. This book is about sex. If any of you know me or have read my posts or follow me on Goodreads, you will know that ever since I read Fifty Shades, I have this obsession with sex in my books. So this book um, is basically about two high school kids. Um, their parents don't approve of their relationship. They end up having sex for the first time. Um, from what I understand, it's not all like hearts and flowers like we see in regular books. This is like awkwardness and like the real deal. So we'll see. I'm very excited. It is very short. It's only like 192 pages. So it's a very thin book, but I'm very excited to read it. Um, the next book that I want to talk to you about is actually a review book. Um, this book has been out for a little while, I believe. It is called Spellbound by Rachel Hawkins. It is the third book in her Hex Hall series. Um, somehow I lost track of this series. I read the first book, read the second book, and somehow I missed the third book coming out. So I actually just got this book from Hyperion Publishing um, as a review copy. So I'm very, very excited. If any of you have never heard of this series, you really should read it. It's about witches and spells and it, it really is a good series.
And the very last book that I have for you today is actually um, not a young adult book at all. It is an erotica book, and I actually borrowed it from my mother-in-law. Um, it is called Haven of Obedience. It is compared to Fifty Shades. Um, it is by Marina Anderson. I had never heard of this book before. My mother-in-law had it sitting on her shelf. She was getting rid of some books. I saw it sitting there. I thought, oh, I'll try it. Um, basically, they're saying it's about um, Natalie. She's 20-something. She lives in London. And she, everyone um, envies her because they think that she is, you know, she's really good at her job. She has everything, the looks, you know, the life. But she's thinks that her personal life is actually a disaster. She doesn't have any love life and, you know, whatever. So she hears about this exclusive weekend retreat called The Haven, and she decides to go, and apparently there she meets Simon, who basically is her match. Um, they're both very disciplined. They're both, like, dominant. So it sounds like a pretty good book. Um, compared to Fifty Shades, I'll try it. We all know how much I love that book. Um, so we'll see. That is the last book that I have for you. There are only five this week. Um, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for following Nightly Reading. And I'll talk to you soon.